This challenge comes to us from Gary1717 and That Dude Dawson. Both suggestions are pretty much aiming at the same thing. I have to go into areas of all the maps, well, all maps being the street house, the apartment, and the general store, and stay in the worst room in all locations. So from what I can collect, I'll have to spend time within the bathroom in the street house, the kitchen in the apartment, and the security room in the general store. I know for a fact that that room has a ghost spawn that is pretty brutal, but I don't spend a lot of time in there, so this might be interesting. At the time of this posting, we didn't have the version 1.00 update, so the ghosts weren't as bad. I will do away with the request to not have the EMF, but I can despair away with the grid, as per Dawson's request. Because I think the ghosts are going to give me a run for my money here. So without further ado, let's get into our new challenge of the night, the Danger Zone Challenge. I feel the need, the need for speed. Okay, I have all the equipment that I'm going to need for the night. And, uh, oh great. As if on cue, I've lost all the power, so, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess this is it then. The show eventually begins. Now, I guess in some sense I really didn't need the grid because the grid. Okay. Uh, as I was saying, the grid was going to create a problem regardless because there would have been a lot of light pollution in this room. So yeah, I guess we're uh, we're good not to use the grid. That all being said. Got ourselves a uh, playful ghost. So with that uh, little nugget of knowledge, let's uh, continue this investigation. Where are you? Oh! So you're a talker and you're playful. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. With that knowledge in mind, I don't even need to go to the board for this. Which, by the way, I can't go to the board anyways because I need to stay in here until all the evidence is, uh, collected. But I know this one off by heart. If the EMF goes off, it is a spirit. If I see ghost riding, it is a demon. Um... Was that a... Was that a door opening? I guess I can't tell because I'm locked in here. Well, kind of a self-imposed restriction inside of here. Um, it is really quiet, though. I don't like this at all. Can you do something? Um, well, okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's getting creepy. Can you do something? Oh boy, here we go. Alright, turn off the light, see if we can see any, uh, ghost riding? No? Nothing? Not even an EMF? Okay. I'm assuming that is the door going towards the downstairs area. So, in the kitchen, that door is going a little ham right now. Come on. Come on. Do something, please. I want to get out of here. I've got other creepy spots to hit up. Can you do something? Wow, you are really receptive. I don't like that. Um. Oh, God. Oh, man. I'm terrified of this area here because I know there is a ghost spawn in that corner and it goes kind of in this general vicinity here. In fact, I remember trying to have an investigation just willy-nilly in uh, in the bathroom a long time ago. Uh, before the ghost got a lot worse than this, and uh... Oh man, it's getting worse. And I sat in that corner there, and I died. Man, did I ever die. Do something. 
I mean, it's really, really receptive. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know what this is, but... I just noticed I lost my, uh... I lost my remote. Silly me. Didn't realize uh, the ghost was sneakily stealing things on me. I guess that's my fault. Can you do something? Seriously, you are so receptive. Oh my. Oh no. Like you're you're doing things. But weirdly enough, you're not doing them in here. You're doing them away from me. I don't know how to feel about that. At this point, we've been sitting here for a, a solid while, and the EMF has not gone off, so, uh... I, I have to assume it's a demon, but I don't want to jump the gun just yet. Can you do something? Um... I haven't seen anything form yet. So... I guess I, I really have to keep on my toes here. It's either going to be on this wall here or this wall here. Sometimes it forms over on this wall, but... Ooh, okay. Uh, sorry. Oh, for the love of... It keeps knocking things out of my hands. I am I am freaking out here. Like, it's not doing anything. I mean... Try this out. Maybe just a general conversation. Okay. Nothing. You knocked a uh, knocked someone out of my hands again. Don't like that. Come on. Like you are, you're, you're just all over the place with the spirit box. Like, you gotta do something. I don't like how it responded to me. That is a very, very creepy coincidence. Oh no! 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 Please! Huh? There it is! Oh! in here. I am not moving. Is it done? Okay. Go, 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 go! Run! Okay. I got a question here. Every time, every time I start one of these new update investigations, I got a ding dang demon here. What's that all about? But anyways, we move on from the bathroom in the street house to the kitchen in the apartment. All right, well, I'm here. Got all my stuff set up. So, uh, let's do this, I guess. Where are you? Oh, please don't. Please don't. Back to back talking ghosts. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess the benefit to that is that I figure out what you are real quick, so. Oh. Ghost orbs already? Holy cow. Man. Hard mode is no joke. Okay. So talking. Holy Christmas, that was close. Um. Okay, well, we better hurry this up. Can you do something? Kind of wondering what you are at this point. If it's a ghost writing ghost, then it's a Vitella. But if it trips the EMF, then it's a Wailing Soul. Kind of waiting for that to happen. Since uh, we got two bits of evidence almost immediately. 
Can you do something? Okay. You don't have to be rude about it. Just ask a simple question. I'm not here to pry. I'm just cowering in a corner here, hoping to God that this place is actually safe. Because if it isn't, I, uh, I'm just dead. I won't even have to worry about being terrified. I'll just be dead. Can you do something that was right in my right ear? Come on. This is nonsense. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. I, I... I'm really not a fan of this challenge already. I mean, I only have this map and another map to go, but I swear... Like, come on. <laughs> well, the one thing that's kind of weird is that if it is a Vitella, it's not doing any of its ghostwriting just yet. But it is talking quite a bit. That's concerning. Oh, it's right in front of me. Ooh, please don't for me. I, I swear I hope this is a safe corner. I don't have any spot to go if it isn't. Can you do something? Just do a little ghost writing and I'll get out of your hair, I swear. Like, you don't have to, you don't have to do anything to me. Just, just do a little writing and, and I'm gone. Or whatever else. Trip the EMF, I don't care. I'm starting to suspect that it is a Vitello at this point, but I have been wrong in the past, so I'm not going to confirm anything. At least not yet. Oh, it was a Maroi! You know what? That's my fault. I totally gapped on using the thermometer for the sheer fact that I was more terrified of the fact that it was a talking ghost. Okay, cool. Maroi it is then. Well, I'm happy to be wrong, because at least I'm alive. Moving on from the kitchen, which thankfully we made through, because I swear I, I thought I was dead a couple times. We now head to the security room in the general store. Okay, I've picked my spot inside the security room, and, uh... Oh! Oh! Uh, okay! Um! Oh! It's a little quick! Um! Caught me off guard there! Uh... Wow! Oh! <laughs> okay! See what I mean? The ghosts kill you instantly. Um. All right. Well, I guess that corner wasn't safe. Let's try that one again, shall we? Okay. So I am now. Are you kidding me? It's another talker. Goodness. Well. As I was saying, now I'm next to the door, and uh, hopefully that corner spawn for the ghost doesn't catch me. Otherwise, I am dead again. I guess the better alternative is that I find out what this ghost is quickly and uh, get out of its hair. Okay, well, it is very receptive. I, uh, I don't like that. It could be a very unhappy ghost. Ooh. It's right outside the door. Okay, that's not cool. I don't like the spot, even if it might be kind of safe. Do you want to play? So I don't. I want to get out of here. I hate this. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You keep that door closed. You want to play? Uh, <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. I hate this challenge. You want to play? What is this thing? Can you do something? Uh, 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 uh. 
like, what the heck? I hate this room. I, I've never used this room. I never saw a reason to use it. Now it firmly is in my mind that I will never use this place. <gasps> oh, okay, I'm out. I got my information. I don't need anything more. I'm gone. I'm not dying again. That was awful. That was the worst. Thank goodness that's over. That death was probably the biggest jump scare I've had in quite a while. Thank you once again to Gary1717 and that dude Dawson for the awesome challenge suggestion. But if you'd like to be like Gary or that dude Dawson and see your challenge done by yours truly, leave your challenge suggestion in the comments down below. One thing before I go, I do see all of your challenge suggestions and I have been writing them down. I actually have a list of them and I plan to hit as many as I can before I move on to any new ones. That all being said, I really, really appreciate all the suggestions that you've been giving me thus far. It definitely proves that if you get a good community of people, you can make some amazing content with the amount of participation that your base has. So again, I can't thank you guys enough for that. That all being said, I think I need a bit of a break from this one. So, I'll see you soon, guys.